we're going to try this. Um, I'm going to introduce the uh, Barry electronic valve instrument. It's called the Bevy. Uh, it's basically an electronic valve instrument. It's a MIDI controller. Um, what it has is um, a MIDI out going to some sort of tone generator. Today I'm using a Roland Sound Canvas um, 55. You turn the amplifier on. Um, and basically it gives you um, the ability to use basic uh, valve fingering in order to, um, to get um, MIDI information into a tone generator, either computer or, or one of these external units to make, uh, make sounds on stage to, um, to perform with. So this one right now is sounding like a trumpet. No, it isn't. It's not on. Now it's going to sound like a trumpet. So it's that easy to, um, to, to plug it in and get turn it on. It's inst pretty much instant on. It takes three seconds to boot up. Uh, it's using an Arduino board um, that's been modified by a gentleman in, in Ireland called Tom Scarf. It's called a Miduino board, so it's, it's a, a programming, it's in C, language of C, or subset of C, and then, uh, and then that gives you that MIDI out capabilities. So, um, so it's got extra valves here because you're not buzzing into the mouthpiece, you're just getting pressure into the mouthpiece, and um, so you need to have all the buttons to get that full octave. So when I hit G, which is another open, I need to push down a button to give me that G, and then I need to push a different button down to get the C, and likewise on the high G. And I see. But I've also put two more buttons on the bottom that give me a full six octave range. So if I go all the way down to the bottom, the so full six octave range, um, which is a little difficult to get used to using these buttons initially, but after a while you start, start thinking in terms of it other than just the original free capability. Um, it also has the capabilities, I decided that it would be nice to have chord capabilities, so these two buttons back here on my other thumb allow me, if I hit a high C, I can then hit a C chord, or a C minor chord, or also, as I was thinking, is that it would be nice to have the capabilities to put horn lines together, um, which typically would be like a trumpet on top, a third down would be a some sort of tenor sax, and then an octave down would be a barry sax. And so, that's called the horn line with both buttons down. So the regular just trumpet. So then you can start doing classic R&B blues songs, uh, such as I'm Ready, using both uh, the trumpet and the rest of your horn line. I'm ready using full horn line capabilities of the, of the bevy there. Uh, other capabilities are is that most tone generators and most MIDI controls have 16 full channels. So I'm using the first three channels for trumpet, tenor sax, and then barry sax. I can then program channel two now to be a sax, trumpet, and a trombone. <laughs> Also, then program it to be three of the same. So now I have a piano. And get the full chord of the, of the piano. What's really fun is it now opens up other instruments that you can add to anything you want to do. If whatever you're playing, whatever music you're playing along with, you can add an instrument that will actually modify the sound or actually make the Song, song, sound, song a lot better by adding the instrument that it needs. So I, I also have a violin programmed in. And depending on the quality of your synth, is the, depending on the how the sound you're going to get out of that. Um, also put in full um, transposition capabilities, so if I want to switch from C, which is what it boots up into, this is typically reading concert music, um, if I push this button down, hit the function key, now it's beeping in C, and if I hit the first button, that's B, so B, E, A, D, G, C, and then if I go um, this button and this function button, then I'm in B, E, A, D, G, C, all flats, and then finally both button down and the function button get me back to C or F. So it's circle of fifths, so you, you can memorize it pretty quickly if you know the circle of fifths, so now I'm in B. 
or if I want to jump back to C, now I'm in C. So very easy to switch transposition, all 12 keys are, are available. Uh, it's battery powered, got a little 9 volt battery compartment here that you just quickly pop out and replace. It's got a um, panic button on it, um, like all MIDI controls. Sometimes you get stuck on um, notes. Rarely do I get stuck notes, but um, it's nice to have that there to shut all notes off. Um, used a, a trumpet mouthpiece. I originally had it designed with different mouthpieces, but I found getting the ability to do staccato on the notes that I needed this, this shape to concentrate the air pressure. So if I want to do just, um, I'm going to jump back to trumpet, it's just sort of a legato, like that, or if I want to be staccato. It also, as I programmed it and got the, 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 the delays between when the note went on and how it went on and on, I realized that I could also double time, which, uh, which is not what I was being able to expected to be able to do, but it, it works fine. So I can do normal tonguing, double tonguing, um, and if you're capable, probably triple tonguing. It's, it's got about a 30 millisecond delay um, when putting on the notes, so it, it, can, it can do... Um, um, various um, very quick valve um, adjustments and stuff. So very um, very responsive. Uh, depending on the synth, the synth has a, um, a vibrato that comes in. But since it's the volume control is by the mouthpiece and the pressure, I can also do vibrato myself. But I can also control the note whatever volume I want as it's hit. And it's fairly, uh, fairly smooth. So that's it. It's called the Barry Electronic Valve Instrument. Um, pretty easy to make. Uh, costs about 150 bucks total for me to put all the parts into this thing. Programming took a year. I'll be honest, maybe a year and a half, and I still have other things that I want to do to it. But um, now that the programming done, it's it's pretty straightforward. Thanks.